You're looking at an old Newton NPS-200 PB-121B. This is the B model. There's also an A model with the same part number. Both are irregular shapes, just like the one you see here. Both are extremely hard to replace whenever they break and you have to replace them. but we have a solution. Here is our replacement for the MPS 200-121B and A power supplies. It fits right in the place of your old unit. Mounting holes are in the same spot thanks to this aluminum plate that we have married to this 240 to 250 watt base model. You'll enjoy the increased efficiency more power and electrical compatibility. Now, the old power supply that you have may or may not have had this hard to find P8 connector. And then your computer may or may not have used this P8 connector. You will need to find that out. If you need this P8 connector, you're going to need to clip it off of your old power supply with a pair of scissors. And then, whenever you get the new power supply from us, you're going to need to tap into the existing P4 connector. The P4 connector on our new power supply is 12 volts just like your P8 connector. You'll tap the yellow wire into the yellow wire and the black wire into the black wire. And to make this much easier for you, we will be including two of these 22 to 18 AWG wire gauge splice taps. They're designed specifically for splicing into power supply wires. So what we have here is a 22-18 AWG wire splice tap designed specifically for splicing into the wires on power supplies. It's sized exactly for that. Now, if you'll notice, one side of the wire splice on the inside is capped off. This is where you put your new wire. This is for the wire that is being added. The other receptacle is for the wire that you are tapping into. Okay, so theoretically, let's say that this is the wire that you want to add to the power supply. We'll simply put it on the inside like so and the stop on the wire tap will keep the wire from going out the bottom end. <clears throat> now let's say that this is the wire that you want to tap into. You will simply go alongside this wire and slip it into the wire tap just like this. Okay. All right. Then whenever you get it set, just like you want it set, you'll use the little tap splice that's right in the middle and a pair of pliers to splice the two wires together. Like I'm just about to do. Just like that. I'm going to get it nice and tight. Okay. Now, I am spliced into these wires. Now, what I need to do is close the wire tap. And there you have it. We have a professionally, tight, a professionally tapped wire on the power supply. 
new wire going where it goes old wire continuing to go where it goes this is the 22-18AWG wire tap splice for power supply wires that's the exact procedure that you'll use if you need the P8 connector on your new power supply you'll simply take this P4 wire tap into it way back here right because you don't want to tap where, real close otherwise you may not be able to reach your destination tap back here so that way both wires will be a far distance away from each other and then you should be back up and running again this is the MPS 200 power supply replacement designed to replace Newton MPS 200 121 A and B.